should talk Ohio's top talent, Jared. Yeah. What'd you think? What'd you think, man? It was a little. What'd you think? I caught a couple finals. I mean, I caught a, a ton of wrestling. Uh, semis and finals that really impressed me was Guntram. Thalia Guntram. Right. Did you? She's from Steubenville. Steubenville. She's really impressive. Uh, she had a really good semifinal. Uh, she looked amazing. Like, you know, just really dominant on her feet. Great on top, had turns. I was really length, impressed with her. Right, a lot of length and a lot of leverage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Super lanky, uh, explosive, strong. Uh, she's she was on uh, the mat. Gray Burnett chose down. She rode Gray Burnett for forty seconds, maybe. I couldn't believe it. Like she knows how to wrestle. She's super impressive. Uh, you know, I think she weighed in light for a weight class too. I mean, not that that makes all the difference but you know being a she's the real deal man i was super impressed and she's 12 years old i yeah i could never seen i've never seen a well actually what's crazy is the hetzer girl yeah lyric yeah oh my goodness they're absolute hammers yeah i couldn't believe it i was like this because she's a chin whipper hetzer's a chin whipper yeah but like she, Barney's she like, can oh, go, man. Her short off. can, but she's good in the. She, I think she pinned a guy with a cradle. Yep. You know, it's not like she's a one trick pony. You know, like she can wrestle. How old is she? Eight, nine. Yeah, she's young. Uh, so she's, oh, she's got a bright goodness. future. Like those two blew that. Like watching them blew my mind. I was like the level of two, these two, and it was a. It was you didn't specify there wasn't a girls division. Well, well we so the, the thing the is we had we had a girls division on Saturday. And we're kind yeah, of but bummed out. Sunday we, was when I was there. I right. was, oh my goodness. Well, we were kind of bummed because there wasn't a great turnout. You know, last few years we've had a couple hundred girls in the girls state tournament. So we've been, you know, we offered a, a girls division back in December. Didn't have a great turnout. And then we had um, another one Saturday. And I think, you know, there's maybe 20 girls that signed up. So we offered, Hey, you know, do you want to jump in the boys? I think we had, a couple of weight cl- girls weight classes that were contested, but um, yeah, I'm gonna I mean, tell they're, you right they're, now, those two, yeah, yeah, those they two with me. the boys, they were they were super impressed, and they are they are like I said, they are at the level and above the level of a lot of the boys, and just so super impressed with them. Obviously, Gray Burnett and Guntram were in the final, and mm-hmm. I think Gray won 14 to one, but he couldn't pin her. Right, you know, Gray's at Tulsa this weekend. I mean. He's probably a Tulsa placer, if not a finalist or champ. And, you know, he's won the OEC, I think, three or four times, Jared. For her to be able to wrestle with him at that level, I was just, yeah. Um, you know, hats off to her. She did an amazing job. Guntram out of uh, Steubenville. Wow. Wow, right. wow, wow, wow. And then um, Tommy Rollins looked pretty good. He was he was up a division, too. Tommy. Tommy. Up a division, and he was at 85 pounds. He was the weight above Gray Burnett. So that 80 and 85 were pretty impressive. Tommy Rollins was just, yeah, he rolled through everybody. He looked really good. Uh, They're heading out to Tulsa too, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Tommy Rollins, and obviously his dad, great guy, big Tommy, two-time NCAA champion for the Buckeyes. Great to talk to him. Great people. But, uh, oh, 55 pounds division two, Sharples. Yeah, that, that weight. Sharples was, is pretty tough. That weight was deep. Yeah. Right, his dad was O'Carber grad, right? That's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that weight was probably one of the deeper ones um, of the tournament you know, for Division Two for sure. And he won a tough match. It was a hard-fought match. It, mm-hmm. They don't wrestle like youth kids. It's amazing right. to watch. You know, the Hetzer. Hetzer, you know, like Varney's like, oh, she's got a chin whip. Watch it. You know, because uh, Deer Wester's got a really good chin whip, right? He's like, he's, she's kind of like Deer Wester. She, you know, and Deer Wester does more than a chin whip. But, you know, they you really try to get it. Deer Wester away from just doing all chin whips. Hetzer comes out right away. She tries to just rip a chin whip in the match. I was watching. I was like, oh, my. But then she just, like, just methodically picked the guy apart and just, just beat it. So, so so my question always is, what what's the one match to watch? The one match to watch. I would have to say, oh, I did. Uh, there was a Samuel Adams versus uh, Uriah Lopez. Okay. 14 to 10, I think it was. 14 to 10. They put 24 points on the board. That's a great match. So, I think they were 75 pounds, 75, 80 and 85 were, they were really good weight classes. And those were division four. 
Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I love the turnout. Great turnout. You guys were done by four. Jared rolling the mats up on Sunday. I don't know how Saturday went. How was Saturday? Similar. Yeah. We had around, you know, um, yeah, similar time. Started at 9 a.m. Had about an hour or so break in between, you know, clear the facility. And um, I think pr- everyone was pretty happy get, leaving by, you know, with the daylight still out, right? So. Yeah. And then I guess one of my other favorite parts was getting, we got custom, we got custom hoodies. Right. From Barbarian Apparel. I, wore I was wearing mine yesterday. So mine's um, dirty. Woo. Well, I got two of them. So I do too. I, I do too. I do too. Oh, dude, you got two dirty ones, huh? And then, of course, the Army West Point cap. Oh, you still know your fancy. So the sticker on is that? Is that what the cool kids do these days? Hey. Oh, I took, oh. I took my sticker off. I, I, oh. I'm, did you get yeah. a magnet yet? Yeah. I don't have the magnet. I got. Oh, that's a car magnet, buddy. That's a car fridge magnet. But I, I, uh, they power washed it off my car and they put it back on all haphazardly. <laughs> And of course, we got these magnets. We got all types of swag, Jared. So not power wash safe. What's that? They're not power wash safe. I mean, yeah, I think a power wash can, can take most everything off of a car, right? Mirrors, if you want it to. But uh, uh, Ohio's top talent. I was really impressed with the field there, the quality of kids that were there, the nationally ranked type kids that were there. It was a great event, and of course, you know, Cedar Point. Is there a better facility? Right. Uh, in the country, I say no. Uh, no and you're only that. in a third of it. You're only in a third of it was what's crazy about it. They have, uh, I don't know if I told you, they have 120 volleyball teams coming in this weekend. So Total madness, pretty wild. Dude. So, Total so um, how's your training going for that June mile? Oh, haven't started yet. Uh, what? So what's the, what's the game plan? When are you going to start? Am I running against somebody? I don't know. Against a clock or maybe we can get uh, – I think we need to give someone like a, like a, some kind of lead, you know, some kind of handicap if they're running against you. You bring Willie Sailor in. Willie or, or get uh, stalemates, a new guy with BA, right? Yeah, stalemates is a Zach, little guy. Zach's on the BA yeah, on Zach's the Barbarian a train. Yeah, he's he on our, our uh, you put him on the, the show because they got the van shirts now. Yeah, the, it's they got that Iowa State Cyclone van that he has, that old conversion van. Yeah, Zach, I don't know. Maybe we're running against Zach. I don't know if it, maybe Joe Joe Williamson. I don't know. Uh, Mark Bader. I'll run against him. It doesn't matter if, if no one out. steps up. Bring man. a well, Bring Jason Bryan out. I don't care. Bring him out. Well, well, me and you. How about me and you? Me and dude. you. I, I, dude, if I, I lo- if you lose to me, you might jump off the track. We already seen that back in 1993. I think. It I think a you very different me. story right now. You laugh. Very different mile. story right now. Very different story. All right, okay. Ohio's top talent. That was great. Let me reel it in back to that. I don't even need to deflect that. You know I'll run against someone. I don't care. But Ohio's top talent was awesome. What's the next OEC event? Uh, we have Divisional State uh, weekend of February 13th, 14th up at the Campfield County Fairgrounds. Um, I believe you were, um, you were at Marysville last year, I think it was. Right? Yes, it was at Marysville. But there were different buildings for it last year. You guys have had to condense it from three to two this year, I believe. Right, yeah. So we're at Marysville and Darby last year in year three, just with the growth. Uh, but we're going to, you know, with the less youth kids competing this year, uh, we're just going to split big and small. So we essentially took Division two uh, and split it in half. So if you're on the bigger end of Division two, you're in the large. If you're on the smaller, you're in the small. So the plan right now, um, you know, hopefully there's enough entries. You know, it's, who knows? You know, we're still a month out from that. But uh Small would compete Sunday, large would be on Saturday, and we'll see how that goes. Sweet. Um, so. Sweet. Hey, I'm in the new studio right now. Uh, I, that's, I was dry, gonna... that's drywall right there. That, this is a piece of drywall. It's the pocket door. Nice. It's not finished, but um, he was like, hey, check the space out and see how you feel about it. Yeah. I'm actually in here the narrow way. Okay. So it's only opposite. like six foot five wide mm-hmm. by like 10. You know, it's Perfect. not a huge room. Perfect. But it's what you need. It's what you need. And we're going to soundproof the walls with the stuff you got in the back. I got a couple. I actually got a bundle of it sitting right over here. Almost arms reach away. Okay. So is he building a wall then? Is it? Oh, it's two walls. It's yeah. four walls. It's its own room. Okay. Did you already put the walls up and everything? Yeah. This nice. is framed in and everything. It's, oh, perfect. Good and then it, you, it's dude. a built-in cabinet on this other side with all of our shoes. And awesome. then we're going to have hooks. I'll do a tour of it um, yeah. if you want me to. Maybe not tonight, but. Next week, as we roll along, it'll probably be finished by next week. Soundproof, and then my lighting up top. Uh, it, yeah, it's awesome. It's my own area, but the pocket door is going to go right over here. 
Um, there's the pocket. That's the pocket door right there. Just kind of leaned nice. up against it. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, yeah. Billy's doing it, man. Billy's doing it right. So Billy, Billy Dickerson, Dickerson design. He does a great job. An artist as well, a sculptor. So uh, one of my neighbors in Kent, great guy. Hey, uh, the Wentz brothers dated his sisters. Yeah, I remember that. He yeah. was Sean's, John and Mark Wentz's next door neighbor growing up. Are we ready for this week's guest? Yes. Coach Hazard coming Bring on now. Him in. <laughs> 